You're listening to the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast, the only wrestling podcast that gets hooked on court and uncensored. What is up, everybody? You are checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. I'm your host, The Hot Commodity. We're checking out our WWE Friday Night SmackDown recap from August 30th, 2024, live in Berlin, Germany. We are about to have Bash in Berlin. So, of course, SmackDown is live in Berlin, Germany for this event. WWE United States Champion LA Knight comes out to start off SmackDown. LA Knight says it's been 27 years since we had a televised show here. So, what a way to kick it off with a megastar. I want to defend my title in the capital of Germany. I'm holding the open challenge if someone wants to come out and get Bash. Ludwig Kaiser comes out. He's the hometown hero. Kaiser says, LA Knight, if you're a champion, you say you are, then you want to defend that title against the best. Myself and Berlin both can say there is no one better on German soil than I. After I beat you, I'm going to take the title and make it my own personal European championship. LA Knight says that's impressive for Gunther Stooge. The only thing you're going to do is catch the three count the hard way. So now we have WWE United States Champion LA Knight versus Ludwig Kaiser. This is a decent match to kick off SmackDown. The fans are definitely behind Kaiser and LA Knight, but more so behind Kaiser because of his hometown. We see LA Knight land a power slam, a clothesline. Kaiser hits a Kaiser roll, but LA Knight lands a side slam and a BFT. And LA Knight retains the United States Championship here in Berlin. Next up, we have Barry Corbin and Apollo Crews versus Los Garza with Santos Escobar and Electra Lopez. Uh, Cruz and Corbin, you're really good in this match. They had a lot of good chemistry. They had control for the most of the match until Santos Escobar tosses Baron Corbin into the ring steps. And then Los Garza's hit MTY on Apollo Cruz and Los Garza pick up the victory. And more so a win for Legato Del Fantasma. We get a promo from the Bloodline Solar Sokoa says next week in the Triple Threat DIY and Street Profits, you four will acknowledge us, acknowledge me. Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens, I don't care who wins, the tribal chief is coming for the champion. So Solar Sokoa has his sights set on whoever is the WWE champion after Bash in Berlin. Next up, Nick Aldis comes out and has Kevin Owens and WWE champion Cody Rhodes come out for a face-off. Kevin says, let's talk about what happened to your knee on that tour in Europe. Cody says, my knee is good. Last week, we beat A-Town down under. What happened at the end leaves me pause. It looked like you were going to hit me in the back with the championship. Kevin says, are you kidding me? All those guys deserve what I did to them, except for Kofi Kingston. You and I have never had that type of relationship. I had a relationship with your dad. Why would I turn on? Cody says, maybe you're angry with me. In 2015, 2016, I worked with the same people you did. You do not get enough credit, and maybe I get too much for the revolution. Kevin says, I don't need to hit you with a cheap shot. I know you got hurt. People tell me how bad you're limping. Cody says, do you still think you don't deserve it, the title? Kevin says, if your knee is fine, why didn't you take a knee when you walked down here? Yesterday marked eight years since I won the world championship. I got people saying I won that title because of Triple H, and that's been eating me alive ever since. What's going to happen when I beat you? Cody says, my knee is solid, and you're talking with anger. You knew I would blaze a path. You knew WrestleMania 38, you versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. And the next day, you had to share the spotlight with me. I love you, dude. I'm going to defeat you. But when it's over, will we still be friends? Kevin Owens whispers something in Cody Rose's ear and me. This is a good promo. For weeks, I've been saying that this match hasn't really like hooked me. This promo actually kind of did. It made me wonder what's going to happen here. I do think that Owens is going to target Cody Rose's knee. But I am definitely excited to see what's going to take place in this match. Next up, we have another match between Andrade and Carmelo Hayes. This is another great match between the two. Andrade lands a super stomp onto the apron. Um, Carmelo Hayes hits a first 48 and double knees in the corner. 
uh, on dry lands, a spring for Spanish fly for a two cow, and then a super fall away slam for a two. Carmelo Hayes ends up exposing the top rope and drops him on Andrade on top of it, and Carmelo Hayes lands nothing but net, and now Carmelo Hayes and Andrade are tied two apiece. I feel like they're going to have a final match, and I feel like I don't know who's going to win that one, but I am looking forward to that last match to end this rivalry. And we've made it to our main event, the WWE Women's Championship Street Fight. The Women's Champion Nia Jax taking on Meechin. Meechin attacks Nia Jax with kendo stick shots and then sprays her with a fire extinguisher of her being Nia Jax. Um, Nia slams Meechin on the trash can. Meechin hits Nia with a tornado DDT on the lid. Uh, Meechin super power bombs Nia Jax through a table. And then Miss Money in the Bank, Tiffany Stratton, runs out. Hits Meechin with the briefcase. She looks down at Nia to cash in, but Nia looks up at her. And then Tiffany places Nia on top of Meechin. Meechin kicks out. Bailey returns and takes out Tiffany Stratton. And then Nia hits a Samoa drop to Meechin through a table. Puts a trash can on top of Meechin. And Nia hits the Annihilator. Nia Jax, impressive in a title defense against Meechin. After Nia tosses weapons onto Meechin and Queen Nia Jax, still WWE Women's Champion, but she might be upset here with Tiffany Stratton for doing what she did. Uh, I'm looking forward to Bash in Berlin. A lot of exciting stuff. SmackDown was pretty decent. Not a lot of crazy things took place, but it wasn't terrible. With that, until next time, stay safe and stay uncensored.